What is up, App Nation? It is Steve P. Young, founder of AppMasters.com, the place you go when you want action-packed content in the app business. In this video, I wanna show you how to respond to your iOS App Store reviews. This is especially important because you wanna make sure your potential users, your potential customers are seeing that you are engaging with your positive and especially your negative feedback. Now, let me show you in the App Store, this is one of my apps and why it's so important. As you can see, the first review that shows up under my App Store listing is very positive and you see that I have a response in there. But as I swipe, it gets to be a little negative. And here is where you want to actually respond. Now, people are complaining that I ask for reviews too much, so definitely don't ask on the first open, but now I've changed that. And here too. So you wanna just make sure that you're responding to some of these bad and negative reviews, because it's important for your users to see that this developer is fully engaged and then also tell your side of the story. So let's go into the platform and show you how it's done. All right, I'm signed in to my App Store Connect right now. You're gonna to go to My Apps, then you're gonna to go to the app that you wanna to respond to. You wanna to go to the Activities tab and then your iOS app and then here is where you do it. So here's your most recent, you can filter by most recent, most helpful, most favorable, most critical. So you can even go most critical and then just sort of go off of that. They're complaining about the same thing that I actually asked for a review right upon first launch. Now it's being really aggressive. I think it's probably was a mistake. I'd probably do it on second launch, which is what we changed to. But on first launch, we tried it. We did get a ton of ratings, but at the same time, we got some one-star reviews, as you can see. They're all complaining about the same thing. So I'm gonna respond. I'm just gonna say, sorry about that. We fix this bug and now you can use the app without any interruptions. Cool. And then hit submit. Great. It's that simple. Now there is a tool out there called appfollow.io that I've already mentioned in previous videos that allows you to auto respond within their platform for both your Google Play and your iOS. But here, I wanna show you just how to do it on the iOS platform. And in the next video, I wanna show you how to do it on Google Play. All right, guys, that's it. If you guys wanna work with us, check out appmasters.com, fill out that contact form, and let's set up a call to see if you're a good fit for our services, or if you're on a lower budget and you don't have too much to spend, and you'd rather learn from us, well then check out appmastersacademy.com. And I'll see you on the next video. Check out the top video if you want to see how your app store ratings impact your keyword rankings. And check out the bottom video if you want to check out our entire ASO app store optimization playlist. And hit that subscribe button, will ya?